welcome back to my channel i'm hasfa and you're watching preston every design as many of you guys know i've been doing the farmer's market in my local hometown every saturday for the last two months so along the way i'm learning a lot of things and one thing i've noticed is that when my booth has too many smalls it tends to look empty so i am now working on adding some larger scale items because it makes the booth look bigger and I can make a little more money for my labor. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I quickly whip up some large scale signs to add to my book. Let's go. Okay, so for this sign, it's a custom order. I already have my wood cut and I am just sanding it out and I've already measured all of this to make this video go very quickly. I am um, using the kills primer for this one because i anticipate that it's going to give me issues with bleed through since i'm using a bright color now once the primer is drying i am sanding down the sticks that i'll be using for the frame Once the sanding is done, I am now giving this the first coat of paint. Yes, that is a bright yellow that you see. Now the client wanted um, yellow, gray, and navy. Those are the colors in her home. And of course, that's what I'm doing. So I tried this acrylic yellow, but it became a little bit too neony for me. So I'm going over it with this chalk paint by Bear. And this shade is called Sun Sunny Side Up. That's right, I forgot. So this one is sunny side up and I sent a picture to the client and she was very pleased with this shade. So that's the one we went with. Um, I've also stained the frame uh, in this dark walnut stain, but she did not like that one. So I'm going to have to change that later on in the video. But what I'm doing here is using some uh, wood glue and then I'm going over it with my bright nailer. And I'm using two inch nails uh, because I want this very secure. It is going to have to travel a very long way. It's going all the way to Phoenix, Arizona once it's done. So as promised, here I am. I am now having to restain it with this uh, this gray. I forgot what it's called. I'll check and let you know. But so the contrast between the walnut and the yellow was a bit too much. And so that's why we decided to go with the aged gray. And now I have my stencil that I made from my Cricut. You guys have seen this very often. So I'm going to zoom through this process not to bore you. But I'm using a sponsor brush to write the words La Cocina. So I wanted to take a moment and show you my shipping process for my custom orders. Um, I've been doing online shipping for two years now and I've learned over the years that you really have to make sure these items get there in one piece because in the two years that I have done this, I've had three items arrive broken. This particular customer is a repeat customer and she's had a broken item before so it's really important to me that she gets her item in one piece this time. And so that's why I'm going through all this extra trouble to make sure that it really gets there in one piece. So I often tend to make my own boxes uh, because you can't always find the perfect box, but you can cut down a box to make it fit and that's what I'm doing. So I have an attic full of boxes from the Home Depot from when we moved or if anyone's moving, I always stockpile those and they come in handy. Okay, so once the packet, once the sign is secured inside this box comes my favorite part, which is the gift wrapping. Yes, I always gift wrap all of my orders um, because gifts are part of my love language and I think how the gift is presented is really important. So I buy all of my uh, gift paper from the dollar store and I just gift wrap all my items. 
and uh, my clients really like it because it feels like getting a gift in the mail although I have to be honest I don't know how much long I'm gonna be able to do this <laughs> it's really time-consuming okay there it is all finished and ready to go next I'll be putting the tag which I can't do in camera because I don't want you guys to see her personal information but there it is all ready to go to sunny Phoenix Arizona okay so moving on to our next sign I already uh, cut measured and painted the board to save time and so what I'm doing now is attaching this little board on top I'm gonna do it at the bottom as well uh, this little board serves absolutely no purpose other than adding some dimension Some depth I should say so after using some wood glue I'm going over it with three nails using my bride nailer. I did the same to the bottom And I'm using my tape measure to make sure that it's on there straight And once that's done, I am going to paint both of these to match. And then we'll be on to our wedding. And if you've already guessed it, this is a welcome sign. It's one of those large welcome boards everyone likes to put in front of their door. For those of you wondering now, this tensor is from Amazon. It comes as part of a pack. I will link it in the description below if I can find it because I purchased this particular set of stencils a little over two years ago, but they've held up pretty well. Now I know some of you guys ask about cr crickets and cutting machines. Yes, I do have a cricket, which is what I used in the previous sign, but sometimes to save time, I like to use stencils. So you need both sometimes. Now what I'm doing is making one of these balls. I learned this from, gosh, I don't remember. I think it's Wendy from White Sparrow Living. Yes, I think, yeah, that's exactly where I got it from. So I'm making a quick bow to go on top of it. If you have questions on how it's made, check out Wendy's channel from White Sparrow Living. She does this all the time. Okay, once my bow is finished, I'm using my uh, my stepple gun and I'm just steppling it onto the wood and that was it for this one. And for my third and final sign, I gotta zoom through this guys, Preston keeps running in this room. So I've already cut it and measured as well and I'm now cutting the frame. Once the frame is cut, I am giving this a coat of paint. It is navy blue because we're getting into the fall so I am doing some dark colors. Well I do colors anyway, it doesn't matter what season it is. But we'll say I'm doing this navy blue because it's fall. So once I was done painting this, I then went ahead and I stained um, the, the the frame with a dark walnut stain from Verathan and once I was done with that I attached the frame to the board uh, here they are all done guess what guys I lost the footage of myself stenciling onto this board but hey you guys have seen me stencil before so here's the finished product this sign says fall it is 42 inches in length and 12 inches in width and um, I love how this turned out. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you haven't, please be sure to subscribe to help me grow this channel. In the meantime, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.